Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try this Hormel Square Table Meal. This one is the Sliced Roast Beef and Gravy. It's premium beef, 18 grams of protein, no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors, and no artificial ingredients. That's nice. This is a refrigerated meal. You buy it in the refrigerated section of Walmart. Um, let's see, it's 15 ounces or 425 grams for the whole thing. Uh, we bought this at Walmart. It was $7.54, which isn't too awfully bad. Um, let's see. It's 120 calories for a third of the package. Basically. Five ounces, 140 grams is 120 calories. If you eat the whole thing, it's 360. And there's your other information for you. So this is more uh, like a, a family meal, but you can de you can definitely eat it by itself as a as a single lunch. Um, they're saying you can make beef fajitas, mushroom and Swiss sandwiches. It looks really good. Beef stroganoff that'd be good over some egg noodles. That'd be really good. So to make it. You can either do it on the stovetop, which you know we're not going to do stovetop, but you can do it at the stovetop if you want to. We're going to do the microwave. For the microwave, you're going to remove the outer sleeve and place the vacuum sealed tray in the microwave. Do not puncture or vent. Heat for three to four minutes or until hot. self ending expands. Um, let stand for two minutes. So I will probably do three and a half minutes. It's usually pretty decent about halfway through. Oh, there you go. Just sliced, sliced beef and gravy. So uh, I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave and I haven't done anything to it. I just took the lid off, uh, the plastic wrap, not the lid, the plastic wrap off. It'll thicken that gravy up quite a bit. Um, I do have a plate. I want to see, I kind of want to see how many slices you get. So hold on, let me slide this plate over and see if I can get the slices of beef out. Okay, so you got, see one, Two. It's a thick slice, but it's not full. It's like a two and a half. Yep, it looks like another half slice here. No, it's a full slice. And then the bottom, it's a, it's the mushrooms or the whatever. No, it's just pieces of meat. So, yeah, I don't know. You, you don't get a ton of meat, and they're pretty thin, and they feel kind of tough. So I'm going to pour some of this gravy over top. I'm just going to pour it all over top, actually. There we go. Pretty thick gravy. So I am going to uh, give me a knife and uh, take this over the table, and I'll be back. All right, so I, I literally just sit down, so I didn't do anything to this. I'm going to turn one of those pieces of beef over at the bottom. They look like they have a little bit of fat on them. I love uh, roast beef with fat, so here we go. Hmm. It does have a little fat on it. Kind of chewy. I like that texture. Um, you know, for I was thinking, you know, I said this is really more of a side. You could definitely eat this by itself. It's only 360 calories and the whole thing with the that's including the gravy. So um, I don't think that's bad at all. And if you wanted to combine it with a like a thing of mashed potatoes, that would be that'd be good too. You could have it as a family meal. Get a thing of this and a thing of the mashed potatoes that you can microwave. And just microwave both of them or put them both in the oven and uh, or stovetop in this case and um probably stovetop for the mac mac macaroni and cheese or the uh mashed potatoes too macaroni and cheese anyway um combine those two and you can have a good meal for two people i don't think it'd feed more than two uh, maybe but um, it's probably enough food for two people relatively uh um a decent amount of food That was a thicker piece of the roast beef. Um, yeah, roast beef. I'm not sure I call it the right thing. Definitely not chicken. Um, the thick piece is a little, it's a little dry. And I even had gravy on it and it was a little dry. Um, but it has a really good flavor. I like the flavor of the gravy in here. Um, it has a really good, you know, just a meaty flavor. Um, it doesn't have lots of seasoning like onions and and garlic and stuff like that although i think it does have a little bit it's not really strong it's just overall just a good meaty flavor and you get a little of the saltiness too the thinner pieces are better they're not quite as dry um honestly i think this is good it's it's got a good flavor to it you know don't expect it to have lots of rich rich flavor like a tons of 
different seasonings in it. Let me put it that way. It is a very rich gravy though. The gra gravy is very um, uh, meaty uh, flavored. And like I said, it has some salt in there too. So I don't like that. My favorite pieces uh, aren't the slices. It's the little, it's the little pieces on the bottom that have the fat. That's my favorite. So I think this is good. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I really do think it's a good meal. You combine this with a macaroni and cheese or mashed potatoes or uh, put this over some bread or make a sandwich out of it or something. Of course, you can put, put the gravy on there with the sandwich, but you could definitely use it for a sandwich. Um, I think it's good. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.